Good morning girls and guys, we are back! Look at this weather! Oh my goodness, we're so excited to ride! Um, so we are going out today and doing round one of our Cape Town adventure! Um, we've got the famed Mr. Andrew Savage leading us out uh, from Stoke Suspension and we're gonna do a bit of a transfer now so we're gonna go through the top of town up onto what we can see ahead is the cableway um, we're not going to bore you with a road climb so we'll cut to where we are up there but yeah exciting times uh, stick around for an awesome video we start the climb uh, on the town adventure we've just passed the Higovale trail and now we've joined the bottom of Table Mountain um, and we're making our way up um, we've got the machine in front of us that man climbs like an e-bike with those little legs of his um, <laughs> and again all new for Melissa and I um, we can now find ourselves at the foot of Table Mountain Granite, granite trail is over there. Okay, so the granite trail. Which is in part one. Yes. So we're by the we are heading around by the top of Pigavale Maltino Road. Okay. <laughs> to climb up there somewhere. Okay. <laughs> so we're going up there somewhere. We're up there somewhere. <laughs> okay, stay tuned for an adventure. We'll cut back when we start the actual climb up the foot of the mountain. So we're on Glencoe Road and we are going right up onto the lowest slopes of Table Mountain. It is an absolute peach over there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's Cape Town down at the bottom. We're making our way up. We've come out of two weeks of absolute insanity uh, with regards to weather in Cape Town. And um, it's so good to be able to get out and come ride. Uh, we don't know these trails very well. Uh, so Andrew Savage has been kind enough to take us on a little tour of his home trails. We're doing the Shale Trail as far as I understand. is a bit of a technical downhill trail. Um, and then yeah we'll see what else. We might venture out onto the Lion's Head side. Um, but we won't give away too much just yet. Ah, there we go. They should have a deer traced on there. Okay, <laughs> right. Okay, and we're going up at the Ronizucht River Reservoir. So we're dropping into the granite slabs. Oh, that's rocky and slabby. Oh, <laughs> that's intense. Yes, and goes around the tree. Correct. Or so through well, there. To, oh, because you would go over those rocks there. Yeah, it used to kind of go through here. Ah. I, I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what a line. Okay, now I don't know where I'm going. Okay. The left hand side. Oh, yes. Yeah. Study love. 
No worries. This is an adventure after all. It's okay. Okay, we're back on it. <laughs> Guys, this is some technical riding. That is fun. <laughs> So the, the week oh. after we did it the first time, all of that happened. Oh so goodness, a, what is, a run! This has only been open for about two, three weeks now. Okay. Oh my goodness, you guys have to come try that out. Now we're making our way across. Ooh. And... That's interesting. This little mud patch here. I'm in the wrong gear. So it's um a bit fun. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Onwards and upwards. Well done! Well done, well done! Okay! in our trail so we go around it he's saying yes we can go ah true Cape Town adventure morning guys Now we're heading up and over to the Lion's Head side. It's awesome to see the city putting in so much effort into maintaining Toffelberg Road. Yeah. And parking and just getting it ready for summer. Well done, city of Cape Town. No worries. I said no to parking it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So close that off. Noted. Okay, so if you guys want to come park up here and do what we did, um, not ideal. Um, we're going to put all the details in the post uh, where you should park. And then we'll link it all up and show you guys what the best way to do it is. Because as you can see, this is pretty much organized chaos. No, we're good for now, thank you. But I take it there's a water stop here. Yes, at the sandbox shop. Okay, so at the sandbox shop, uh, there's an actual water stop. So we're gonna go check it out. Well, there we go. Okay, so for those who do need a top up, this is where you find it. This is the only water source on Lion's Head. Whoa. Unless you're dropping into the Glen area, yeah. which is damaged. That's a bit of a stream sometimes, but the water is generally pretty simple. Um, we've obviously got multiple water courses on the mountains, which is yeah. always handy, especially if you're hiking or running or walking up there. Yeah. 
Some fresh water is good for the soul. We're going down this, I take it. Yes, we are. <laughs> so the old um, <clears throat> Urban Assault downhill course used to duck down through here. There was a line of gum trees along the ridge down here. Just to drop in. <clears throat> Basically race down until you hit that copse of trees. And there's now a trail that leads through there into the school, which is those big grey buildings. Okay. And then across and out into uh, into Bukop. The Bukop community were wonderful and accepting. You could race down the steps. Um, and the finish line, in the last form of its race, was right in the middle of the community um, on Whale Street. No way. Red Bull, um, Red Bull box card race. Mm. Yes. Cordoned off that area. And there was a finish line there. So yeah, cool. so that so down there is Book Up. Mountain, a bit of mountain, a bit of urban assault. Mm. It's a wonderful race. Hopefully, one day we can get it going again. Okay, so what do we need to expect here? Um, summertime, very rocky, very slippery because of all the dust and the, the kitty litter. Wintertime, exceptionally grippy. A um, little bit slippery if you hit a patch of mud or water, but otherwise, you'll have more than enough grip. So stopping, turning is real easy, steep, um, and you've got to remember to actually have a look at the view. <laughs> <laughs> but essentially this drops down <clears throat> and the road system will lead you all the way down to eventually top of Wokop or wrap around into the Freedog area. Just have to be careful for safety, so ride in the <clears throat> um, Otherwise, if you can and you want to, um, there's quite a steep connection which wraps you all the way around to the bottom of um, Bishop U Drive, heading Fresno, and you can actually connect to the back of Mount Zedley. Oh wow! Yeah. So you can do a full circular route in this area. Plans are in process to regularize everything in the city, so making good on that route. Very cool. <laughs> Whoa. 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 I came unclipped. Here we go. Two entry points will go into the original one, which is the second one. Okay, cool. This is crazy to think that there are things like this in town. This is mental! Loads of rocks, drops! <laughs> this is insanity! Stupid steep! Melissa's still going. I'm struggling with my left clip. That's fine. Okay, you ready? That's insane. <laughs> this is like, let's do that again. That is probably the steepest piece of trail. That was insane! Man! 
that is known as uh, Rupert's Revenge. I want to do that or again. Shale Trail. Dude, that is intense. Yeah. It's don't super steep. Stop don't stop, don't stop. You won't no. be able to get back on. And what do I do? I stop. It's the best, in my opinion, it is the best winter trail in Cape Town. That is a very cool trail. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So now we are at the noonday guns right here. The four cops are in front of us. I mean, from here you can drop straight into yeah. Tapro Coffee if you wanted to. Oh wow. And being on e bikes, it is. Yeah, it's easy easier. to just to get back it's up super again. It's steep to get back up, but okay. you can shoot in and out. We're going to hug the tree line at the top and try and do it as quickly as possible because safety and shit. Yeah, okay. cool. See all the remnants of the storm this week. Yeah, and this is why we have mountain bikes. That's fun. A little bit of technical riding. And then you end up with this view. So there's the Kramat over there, top of the line of uh, Signal Hill. Um, in the um, shoulder. Come up next to the range over there. So this is your entry into Lion's Head Loop, which goes across to those gum trees over there. Board carries on right and traverses the side of Signal Hill all the way down to. Uh, so this is Ocean the entry Drive. point. This is the entry point. Legal trail, both sides. Um, Multi-use, so you've got okay. to be very aware of who else is on the trail. Yes, yeah. Um, because we are always going faster. Yeah. Um, Robin Island. What a view! Beautiful up here, eh? <clears throat> Look how big, how uh, busy that shipping lane is. Yeah. Everything from a scary dinghy to a monster. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's crazy. the busiest I've seen this shipping lane in Ben's Mitch. Well, we've, they've got the weather for it now. Slight but change what? in plans. We're going to head down Pat's track for the first yeah. time. Yeah. Here we go. It's a bit busy, but uh, you'll get to see it nicely. It's. Uh, there's some rocky bits, some smooth bits. It's open to anybody. Um, yeah, it's a it's a it's a dual use trail, so it's correct. for and bi-directional. So you'll have people yeah. running, riding in both directions. Okay. Um, or multi-use trail. Yeah. yeah. A smile and wave. Yeah. Be nice. Exactly. Just, Just be liquor. Okay. Let's go check it out. Hello. Okay, we are looking far enough ahead as to not ride too fast around runners, walkers or animals. Savage was saying they did try their best to clean this up. Okay, we've come to our first split. Sir, Clear off road. Lion's head, loop, okay. circular route. Ah. We will connect to later on. Okay. Pat's okay. uh, track. This way. This way. Okay. Pat's track it is. Wow. Guys, looks like it's cut down the side of the mountain. Be light on the bike. There's some rocky bits there. Oh, those are rocks hitting my down tube. Wow. 
I love my suspension <laughs> and mud in the mud. Ah, tastes interesting. Okay, so this is challenging my little heel pipes, but we're pushing through it. It's quite a drop on the left. Let me just get off here for two seconds. Mainly because that's quite hectic. Okay, we're just waiting for a rhino to come through. down the side over there as it's mental to think that the trails we rode this morning are in Cape Town like in the CBD and it's super technical and they're also super easy ones um, so there's something for everyone This is not too bad, you just need to keep your momentum. I mean, you are pretty good. Um, and I seem to be managing with the drop on the left, I'm just not looking that way. I suppose riding a trail blind is not a bad thing either. You have to be loose. Momentum going. How's the suspension now? Amazing! Oh. Okay, that is too close to the edge for my liking. And I almost fell down it. <laughs> okay, so we get through this section. Definitely cool but oh the drops are interesting but I made it through that's a win in my books good morning yeah you are daredevils I'll jump back on when I don't feel like I'm falling off the mountain. Okay, let's try this. Yeah. 
this is definitely rough and rowdy. So much fun though. When you don't feel like you're falling off the mountain. That's one way to be welcomed around the corner. Okay, so right at the end is a little bit of a shell rock and Yeah, and I think we're done. Holy smokes, that was intense. Mr. Show off in front there. <laughs> Okay, so we are, we are now. through an insane area with amazing houses and we're out at Lion's Head entrance. So, let's just see what is in store for us. The view is obviously never ending. Oh! <laughs> she did it! Ah, so close. How's that for a view? So all the Cliftons are. Okay. Let's go check it out. This new fork has given her oodles of confidence. <laughs> um, don't know. Okay. Clip the pedal. Morning, guys. No, 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 they are beautiful, though. They just want to play. Please slow down.
Good morning. Whoops. That's something you don't see every day. I didn't expect it to be that slippery. <laughs> Again, Savage is doing this without a motor. Just an FYI. in front of us good morning that's it sorry <laughs> Yeah, but a feeling we have to commit for those kind of things. Yeah. Yes, not gonna make that. Okay, some interesting not even going to attempt that one. Climbs and steps ahead. No, no, it's cool. I do not have the skill for that. Good morning. Ah, oh, morning. And then you watch him go up there. Eh? Exactly. I knew he was going to do it. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Kudos, Mr. Savage. Wow. That's intense. Thank you. That's insane. One day when I'm big. Like these you should be okay with. There we go. Yeah, but hit it straight on and then you'll be fine. See if you go at an angle. Yeah, and there's a lot of them. Yeah. Oh my goodness, how's that view? Ah, oh, sorry about that. No, it's fine. What a view. Yeah. Whoa, okay, no. <laughs> so with those logs, use your motor to get over them. So do a little, if you're in the right gear, you do a little power pedal yeah, and, just and it lifts your nose up and then, you, then you're safe. And it's, a, and it's a cool trail to practice that power pedal now. Okay guys, so we have come to a stop to do a dog poop removal. Um, <laughs> um, we've got a little bit of a climb left before we back up to the top of the lion's head climb on the low loop it's a, the views are insane as you can see um, got Clifton down below you can see into the distance oh man Cape Town today that it's literally showing off um, Melissa making some friends and um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cut the recording here till we're at the top of the climb. Um, we're running out a little bit of battery, 
um, and then we can show <laughs> so we just try to wipe his bike on the trees um, yeah and then we'll we'll be back with the descent from the top so yeah do come come out and pride it's all gonna be on our Strava so come check it out so before you sign off there yeah see that rocky slide piece over there yes that is the start of Missing Link. Ah. Missing Link goes across the top of that rocky piece where it joins the yes. foliage and runs past the furthest, uh, the second furthest uh, spur that you see sticking out there. I didn't realize All the way so around. Far. Okay. It's, uh, it goes quite it's massive. Far. It's a huge trail. Left to the north. Yeah. Right. Let's uh, remove ourselves from the smell. Yes. <laughs> cool. We'll catch you on the top. Stuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we back on the lower slopes of Table Mountain now. Um, we couldn't make it up to do the rock slab again because they're busy with some construction on top. So we're gonna make our way across to the Higovale Trail, and we will catch you guys there. Cool. Okay, apparently, watch the dogs and. Uh, No worries. Uh, there's so much to ride in town. It's so good. Savage obviously knows where everything is. Let go of the brakes over the roots. And then it's completely rutted the side. And that side. Yup. Watch out for the grass. Campbell. Just go straight down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Melissa's right. How the hell does he get clipped in so quickly? Yeah. How do we go? Over the little and down the next one. How cool is that? And there's still more to come. One more trail. One more trail. Oh, nice. Let's go. Higo Hustle. Higo Hustle. Oh, the red one! <laughs> the red one. Wow. Two. I want one more. Ah, uh, yeah. Nine, nine for four. Nine yeah. <laughs> One of those uh, cages on the roof with the spotlights. Spare tire. Yeah. <laughs> go, babe. Go. Here we go. This is fun. We've done this before. Okay, down the steps. <laughs> oh, yes. Run. Pop over. Pop over. That double's very doable when the ground's not so wet. So is that. But it's a. <laughs> and that one. <laughs> oh, how fun. And that is the end of our Cape Town adventure, part one. Thank you so much. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We're heading off for a coffee. 
back home to Charlie Pai and uh, tomorrow we're going to be heading out to Takai to do part two of our Takai adventure we're going to be doing the bridal trail and some of the DH stuff so keep an eye out for these two videos dropping enjoy the week